I want to like quickly to show you how to extend a known PNP React list view control. So there was a great blog post out this week by Vesa on this project. Really quick introduction uh, about me. My name is Markus Möller. For those who don't know me, I'm a Microsoft 365 developer expert. I work for Avanade in Germany. I'm a Microsoft MVP for M365 development since 2021. And you can reach out to me on Twitter or comment on my blog posts. Let's directly jump into my demo. First, uh, most of you hopefully already know the standard list view control, uh, which is available in the PNP SPFX controls. Um, we see this library here. How does this look like in a really simple implementation? It would maybe look like this. Yeah? And the good thing is compared to SharePoint list uh, standard view is, of course, you can render anything here. Yeah? Can be SharePoint data, can be search results, can be database data, whatever, but you can render it in a SharePoint-like design. Yeah? Um, but what we miss here, for instance, when we compare this to a SharePoint standard list, maybe a control bar, that's another control, or a so-called edit control block or contextual menu. And this is what I customly implemented and in, uh, intended to place here in the third column. I can click, uh, simply click that. I have three actions here. I can click one and then I have my context. I know hey, I'm in the row of hands and the action one was clicked. So really simple implementation here. I can do this the same way with an action two. And I know this is action two and another row is clicked. And I can even do this with a third action. And here now I'm using another, uh, here I'm using the last name as a reference. And that's all. So really quick, uh, simple demo. Easy to implement. But how to do this? We'll show you in short illustration. The first thing or what we need for this uh, control to run is we need to uh, define the view fields. And as you can see here, uh, not in the uh, in the border, but uh, outside the border, we simply have our data rows here, like first name, last name, or street below. But in between, we want to insert something. Yeah, and this is uh, that we have a custom render option here. And this render option can simply split the data and render in between the columns and the control that I'm rendering here called ECB is nothing else than this three dot more vertical icon. Yeah, this is an icon button, which only shows an icon with the icon name more vertical. These are three dots uh, yeah, in a vertical way. And additionally, below, we already can imagine that we have some actions here behind. Yeah? Um, I only show uh, uh, the first action here, so action one and the first divider, the others go quite the same way, as you can imagine that. Nothing else what I was inserting here. And when we click that, I made it really, really easy. Yeah? I was using the good old alert. Yeah, You should do that in production environments, of course. Yeah, It's got really annoying, but uh, for demonstration purposes, always works good and the easiest way to uh, achieve some results. Nothing else here. And that's it, how you can simply extend this control. Else you might think, um, what you can also use, of course, uh, is uh, the SPFX way of standard list extensions. We have the list command, which is can either uh, hijack or be included in the existing edit control block of a list view, or you can locate it totally different in the command bar above the list. Yeah, then it's totally different. It's not on the source, but you can also, of course, then act on uh, multiple rows, which you selected before. That's different. Yeah, you can also maybe misuse uh, an existing column with the field customizer and not only render maybe the text field, but also additionally render uh, this control button I was showing. Yeah? Or you can totally erase a column and, and say, hey, I do not render anything, but my uh, edit control block, yeah, but maybe that's not the best idea. But you cannot, like you have seen in my code, 
you cannot insert an additional column inside a existing SharePoint list view, which only renders something. Um, for list formatting, I don't see a chance here because you need JavaScript to render an, ex uh, an additional UI stuff here, like a uh, like a control block or what else. Um, but uh, or when you open a dialog, for instance, or so, yeah, this is what I don't see available. Last not least, some resources. I have a blog post, and as you can see from the date, there yeah, the, the blog post is really really old. Yeah, but I never shared the sample. Or I for totally forgot to share the sample, um, so I catched up on this. Uh, over the Christmas time and published this as a PNP sample now and with the latest uh, SharePoint framework version as well. And last not least, there's also an existing documentation inside the PNP repo. Yeah, I can maybe quickly switch back to that to close my demo. This is what I also wrote years ago, and I think it was a bit refactored. So when we scroll down here, come on. Yeah, we have also a small documentation about this. But if you're not sure about that, and I heard some criticism on my blog post recently, this was also a motivation to do it a bit better. Um, this is why I created the whole sample for your reference. That's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, really useful demo again. And it is really nice to see how we can extend the PMP real control, how uh, we can easily do that. So. Mm -hmm.